Hello and welcome to part five of this Craft CMS tutorial series. So in this video, I want to talk about extending templates. So let's go to our code editor. And you can see that we have this index.twig file for our homepage. We just have one template and that works great if we only have one page on the website. But as we add other pages, we'll need new templates and we don't want to have to repeat all of this stuff up here and any scripts and anything else again and again and again for every template. So what we want to do is have one base template and then use that as a starting point for all other templates going forward. So let's see how that looks if we switch the home page to its own template and use this as a base. So I'll take everything that's home page specific out of this template, which is all of this. And then I'll create a new template in the templates directory called home.twig. And I'll just paste that in here and save. So if we go to the browser and refresh, we've lost everything. So why is that? If we go to the craft CMS admin panel and go to settings, sections, and look at the home page by clicking this link over here, we can see that it's looking for a template called index. So let's get rid of that and let's choose our new home template here and save. So if we refresh the page here, we're now getting all of our content, which is great, but we've lost our style sheets. So let's go back to the code editor. And that's because we're simply rendering our home template now and totally ignoring the index.twig template. So let's fix that. First, we'll create a new block here in the index template and we'll call it block content. You can call this anything you want, but this seems to be a standard. So this is where all pages templates will be injected into. This is the base template, and then every page will be inserted here. So we'll save that, and then we'll go to our home.twig template, and we'll wrap this in the same block tag. Great, so we're almost there. The only other thing we have to do is specify that this template is extended from this one. So let's go to the top of the file and say extends index. And that's it. So let's go back to the browser and refresh. And there we go. We're getting our style sheet back. We're getting our JavaScript back. And we're ready to start adding new pages with their own templates without repeating ourselves for every single one. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.